Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to delete the data. Direct delete, not the confirm delete. Confirm delete we'll be doing in the next video. So we'll see how to delete the data directly from the database. So before getting started with the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get into the video. So previously we have seen how to edit and update the data. In this video, we are going to see about the deletion part. So let's quickly do that. Let's open our code. This is our code. Let us close this, which was the update part. And let us remove. Let us close the function as well. So this delete is going to work similarly as edit, right? So when we click the data, I mean, when we click the delete button for that particular user, it has to take the ID of that particular user and delete the data here as well okay here also it has to delete and it has to delete from the database so if it is deleted here then that means it is deleted from our database so let's see how to work with that so first thing what you have to do is inside footer inside index so this function so inside this function we have delete button right so here inside href add a hash and here give a class name as let's tell this as delete student delete student okay so now when this let's copy this class now and go back here here it is going to be the same as edit so what we are going to do is we'll copy this edit copy paste it here okay so edit is here so as I told, the first thing is that you have to align properly so that you will know where it is starting and where it is ending. So this is our document for delete. Let's rename this to delete. And here you have delete student. But here the class is edit student. We have to copy this delete student. So copy this and paste it here. Now you have the ID, right? So this ID is coming from here. We are taking the closest value of TR which is this td we are taking that id so closest of tr and we are finding the id let's alert this and check before executing okay and let me comment this let's go reload now i am clicking on this user 1 so i am getting 1 when i click on user 3 i am getting 3 so we have currently fetched the data of that particular uh, ID of that particular user. So I have commented it back. So here we have the jQuery Ajax. So the type is going to be post. URL is going to be code.php. Here the data is click delete button. So just right click delete button. And then the we are taking the student ID. So the student ID will be there. So here we don't require this for each thing let's delete this okay let's take off this we don't require that we we just need what is happening to be printed on console okay so later you can do it you can print it so for now i'm just uncommenting this line of code and i have removed every code from that so what will happen is whatever we are doing the action that we are doing inside code.php will get as a response in console so let's go to code.php and write the code for it first copy this click delete button and go to code.php here using an if condition tell if is set of dollar post of the button name so if that button is clicked what has to happen it has to take the id so id is student id is equal to dollar post of stud id okay then here write the query which is delete student query is equal to tell delete from the table name here is php ajax copy this paste it here and add a where condition where id is equal to dollar std id 
okay once after that tell delete query run is equal to using my sqli query function connect your database which is connection and pass this delete query variable add a semicolon and check if if that query is executing then deletion successful so if delete query if delete student query run is working fine then we'll just echo and store it in a variable and tell data deleted okay copy the same thing and add it in a else part data not deleted okay now this is what we'll be getting here in footer as response let's go check this reload so i'm clicking on user 7 here action is not being performed We have some error here, undefined variable post in B, which is on code.php. Let's check that, uh, but the data is deleted, it shows. Let's open the admin panel and check for that. And let's see code.php line number 98, dollar post of std ID. So here we are taking the ID, but in footer what we are doing, we are taking the ID. To ID is what we are taking using this to ID. Go to code. Okay, here is that dollar underscore post. Okay, so just a minute underscore post. So it shows the data is deleted. Let's go check with our admin panel. Where is that? Here, click on admin. And it has opened here. Let's see. I think PHP tutorials. PHP Ajax. Okay, the data is not deleted, but here it shows the data is deleted. Reload this page and execute once again. So here I'm clicking on user 7. So it shows data deleted. But here if you see, the data is not gone. Let's see here. Let's reload this. You can see the data is deleted which means here also the data is related but if we reload only the data will get deleted okay so if this should not happen it has to delete automatically you have to do one thing that is let's go to footer let's command this console we don't want to print that message in console right so user will not go inspect and check that message in console so what we are going to do instead is we'll copy this message from here okay message show from here and paste it here format so what this will do is we are just appending that message here i mean the appending the response there and this message to I think we have inside our index here we have message so this will print that message here and this line of code what it is doing is what we are telling that is this is nothing but the table right we are making the table empty and then we are calling this function what this function does is it automatically fetches the data right it automatically fetches the data that is being added so automatically what action is being performed also it will just give so this is what that function is doing so we have called that function here now let's execute once again and check if it is working as per our need so let's reload this let's close this console as well i'm going to delete this user 6 so click on delete so it got deleted and the message is printed here you can see i have didn't reload but that user 6 got deleted let's go check with the database as well user 6 is deleted so yeah that's it in this video guys i hope this video was helpful if you have any kind of doubt or suggestion 
Please do let me know in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.